Hello and welcome back to Photo Walkthrough. Today we're going to take a look at one of the brand new features in the new Adobe Lightroom 3, the brand new version of Lightroom. Very excited about this. This is my main tool for editing photographs. I do still use Photoshop a lot, but uh, this has taken over a lot of the things that I regularly do um, and I can do things much, much quicker in Lightroom 3. So uh, let's take a look at the noise reduction feature of Lightroom 3. And uh, Today we're going to be using uh, this image here. I was lucky enough to be... Um, to be able to take photographs at a Jello Biafra gig in Sheffield, very small venue. Um, and uh, he's a wonderful subject because he pulls the most fantastic faces. So all I've done with this image, this was shot with a 5D Mark II at ISO 6400. It wasn't the best of the bunch, but it was one of the ones that I took at ISO 6400, which is a quite a high ISO and gives us plenty of noise to work with and this noise reduction. And uh, all I've done is color correct it and crop it um, and add just a little tiny bit of fill light just to brighten the, the image up a little bit. So. Um, we've got a, a good area of detail here around the eye um, and I'm going to just be working in that area there between Lightroom 2 and Lightroom 3 and I'm going to hopefully allow you to see the differences between Lightroom 2 and Lightroom 3. Lightroom 2 let's just jump down to that now, has got a much maligned, and rightly so, noise reduction feature built into it. Um, it really wasn't good at all, and uh, um, it is, as a result, most people tended, if they were going to use any noise reduction, to use one of the purchasable uh, separate products, like Noise Ninja, um, which uh, did a pretty good job of noise reduction. Um, it is a tool that's possible to overuse, um, uh, and that same is true of the noise reduction feature in Lightroom 3. But let's just jump down to the, uh, we're in the develop module here, and we'll jump down to the detail section of the uh, of the develop module controls, uh, which is where the noise reduction features live. So uh, here we are in Lightroom 2, and we only get two sliders for noise reduction. We get a luminance and a color. So these are going to uh, do different kinds of noise reduction. In fact, you, you'll see by default the color slider comes in at 25%. You do want that. If I just drag that to zero, here in Lightroom 2, look at what happens to the no to the color. We get all these weird neon-y bits, and then in the skin we get sort of bluey blobs and purpley blobs. It's really not very nice, and that is why by default, your color slider comes in at about 25%, which does an excellent job of just, if I just drag that up, look, you can see at around about 25%, it's just about got rid of all of that, that nasty color noise. By the way, this green tint here is because there was a green stage light. Um, I've color corrected as well as I can for the skin, but uh, there were red and green lights on the stage, which is why there's red and green patches on the, on the skin here. So that's as it should be. Um, so the color slider in Lightroom 2 worked very well. The color noise reduction worked very well. I'm really not going to be reviewing that because it also works very well in Lightroom 3. Um, what I'm going to be looking at, and the bit that Lightroom 2 really didn't do very well at, is luminance. And now we've got a luminance slider, and that's all we've got, one slider, um, which just tries to take noise out. So let's just drag that up until this noise starts to disappear. So at around about the 50 to 60% range on this image, the noise is really starting to go. Now, it's still got some weird sort of blocky edges. Look, there's a distinctly blocky edge just there. Um, I hope the video lets you see that. Um, even if we drag this way, way, way up, that blocky edge doesn't really vanish. It's still in there. And everything's gone very sort of blurry now. This detail, look, if I drag this down back to, back to zero, we've got some nice... Uh, sort of wrinkles around the eye there. If I drag that noise reduction right up, look, we've got bits of wrinkles and blotches where there's no... No, there's a blotch there with no detail, a blotch there with no detail. This this noise reduction is starting to lose... No, it's continuous detail there. So this noise reduction in Lightroom 3, if we drag it... Sorry, Lightroom 2, if we drag it all the way up, really is... is hurting the detail on the image and that's that's true of any noise reduction tool the trick is to use it well and to use it appropriately so that it doesn't damage your detail but does improve the quality of the image so just going out to one to one look how plasticky it makes that makes his face look if i put that noise reduction way up this is something to watch out for and make sure you don't accidentally do do keep zooming out do keep zooming in and making sure that you're doing an appropriate amount of noise reduction so here I would say we're looking at the sort of 50% range for noise reduction. I'm just going to zoom back into 3 to 1 so that you can see on the video the detail we're getting. Um, 
so there's how it looks on Lightroom 2. Now, I, I think you'll agree it's a, it's a pretty horrible, blotchy job. Um, let's just jump over now to Lightroom 3 and try and do the same thing. So once again, going in at 3 to 1 and zooming in on that area. Now, I think immediately by the way the unnoise corrected version it looks better here already the detail already looks better it looks quite noisy and it is quite noisy it's a nicer 6400 image but it still i think the detail looks better so let's just quickly try that noise reduction slider and once again just drag it up to about 50 percent which again is around about the point where the noise is starting to go away but look already this looks smoother it looks cleaner it's a much nicer looking sort of noise reduction. Let's just go and look at those wrinkles. Now they are hurt, we can see that those wrinkles have disappeared a little bit. Let's just drag the noise reduction down, look there, we can see the wrinkles nicely there. And if I drag it up, look those wrinkles are going away. This is, not, this is Lightroom 3, but we've now in Lightroom 3 got this detail slider and if I drag that up, watch the wrinkles start to come back. I've dragged it all the way up to 100 and there the wrinkles have started to come back. Not nearly so many areas where it's blotchy without detail now. It's looking much, much cleaner. Um, let's just zoom out to 1 to 1 instead of 3 to 1. And I think uh, with, with quite high noise reduction, you can still have this skin not looking as plasticky here. Good detail going out. We can see the, the lines going all the way instead of having areas where there's no detail. Um, and that's with the noise reduction up at 70. Let's drag it back to 50 and go back to 3 to 1 and just look closer at that eye. I think uh, even with the detail slider way up, we've reintroduced a bit of noise around here, but not too much. And um, we could just drag that detail down a little bit, drag our noise reduction up just a little bit, nice and smooth and with good detail. Um, if I drag that back up a little bit, good detail over here. Um, I think that's a much, much nicer job. Let's just do a quick side-by-side -side comparison. So here we are, I've got a side-by-side -side comparison of Lightroom 2 and Lightroom 3. This is the image before noise reduction. This is just using the default import settings. Um, so we've got zero luminous noise reduction, none at all, and that default 25% color noise reduction. And you can see on the right here, the, no the image does look noisier, but it's nice uniform noise. It's not blotchy like this is. This is all sort of blotchy and higgledy-piggledy in here. This is nicely uniform noise, which the noise reduction tool has a much much better chance of removing um, and also I think the detail just looks generally better in places like the eyebrows and the eyelid look we've got a line there and a line there and if you look carefully just a little line in between it's not being so well picked out here by Lightroom 2 um, let's go and take a look at the same image but with um, the noise reduction applied now so here's the version with about 50% noise reduction on both and with on Lightroom 3 that detail slider where I've dragged it up from 50 to 100 um, so plus 50% detail um, on the Lightroom 3 detail slider and uh, uh, just side by side comparison look at these eyelashes here just compare that eyelash with that eyelash. I think you'll agree it looks much cleaner. The, the area behind it is nice and smooth flat color, whereas behind here it looks blotchy and ill-defined. Look at the area under the eye here, all blotchy and ill-defined, much smoother here. And the detail in the eyebrow, generally looking much, much nicer. Um, I think it's safe to say that the noise reduction in Lightroom 3 is a huge improvement on Lightroom 2. It's definitely usable. I like the quality of it very much and I like the extra control that those extra sliders give us. So as far as I'm concerned for Lightroom 3 compared to Lightroom 2 on this one feature definitely a thumbs up worth upgrading for that one for me. Um, I'll leave it up to you whether or not it's worth upgrading for you. Okay we'll come back next week with another look at another Lightroom 3 feature and hopefully you can decide if it's worthwhile upgrading for you. See you then. This video was an extract from Photo Walkthrough, an online video show about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. If you'd like to see more, you can find all the old shows and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com.